Telecommunications in Eswatini includes radio, television, fixed and mobile telephones, and the Internet. Topic ownership and regulation Eswatini is one of the last countries in the world to abolish an almost complete monopoly in all sectors of its telecommunications market. Until 2011 the state-owned operator, Swaziland Posts and Telecommunications Corporation also acted as the industry regulator and had a stake in the country's sole mobile network, in partnership with South Africa's Mountain Group. In a bid to enter the mobile market independently, SPTC transferred its stake in Mountain and the regulatory authority to the government. In return, Swazi Mountain received a 3G license and the right to provide its own backbone network and international gateway. However, proposals have been made to reinstate SPTC's monopoly on the national backbone and the international gateway, and Mountain is challenging SPTC in the courts over its move into the mobile market. Topic: Radio and Television. Radio stations. State-owned radio network with three channels: one private radio station, 2007. AM3, FM2 plus four repeaters, shortwave 3, 2001. AM3, FM4, shortwave 1, 1998. Radios, 155,000 Television stations State-owned TV station, satellite dishes are able to access South African providers 2007. 5 plus 7 repeaters 2001. 2 plus 7 repeaters 1997. Television sets, 21,000 Topic: Telephones Calling code, plus 268 International call prefix, 00 Main lines in use 48,600 lines, 164th in the world 2012 44,000 lines 2009 38,500 lines 2001 20,000 lines 1996 Mobile cellular 805,000 lines, 160th in the world 2012 732,700 lines 2009 250,000 lines 2007 None 1996 Telephone system, a somewhat modern, but not an advanced system, single source for mobile cellular service with a geographic coverage of about 90% and a rising subscriber ship base, combined fixed line and mobile cellular teledensity roughly 60 telephones per 100 persons in 2011. Telephone system consists of carrier equipped, open wire lines and low capacity, microwave radio relay. Satellite Earth Stations, 1 Intelsat Atlantic Ocean 2009, mobile market penetration in Swaziland has been well above the African average, but subscriber growth has slowed in recent years. The average revenue per user is one of the highest in Africa. The government is considering issuing another mobile license to an international operator. Topic Internet Top level domain SZ Internet users two hundred and eighty eight thousand two hundred and twenty five users one hundred and forty first in the world twenty point eight per cent of the population one hundred and forty third in the world twenty twelve 
90,100 users, 162nd in the world, 2009. Fixed broadband, 3,717 subscriptions, 165th in the world, 0.3% of the population, 155th in the world, 2012. Wireless broadband, 166,485 subscribers, 113th in the world, 12.0% of the population, 86th in the world, 2012. Internet hosts, 2,744 hosts, 158th in the world, 2012. IPv4 to 34,560 addresses allocated, less than 0.05% of the world total, 24.9 addresses per 1,000 people, 2012. Internet service providers, 5 ISPs 2002, 2 ISPs 1999. .The Internet sector has been open to competition with four licensed Internet service providers ISPs, but prices have remained high and market penetration relatively low. ADSL was introduced in 2008 and 3G mobile broadband services in 2011, but development of the sector has been hampered by the limited fixed-line infrastructure and a lack of competition in the access and backbone network. Swaziland has a relatively well-developed fiber optic backbone network. However, being landlocked, the country depends on neighboring countries for international fiber bandwidth which has led to high prices. A reduction of the high cost of international bandwidth is expected from the several new submarine fiber optic cables that have reached the region recently. <laughs> Internet censorship and surveillance. There are no official government restrictions on access to the Internet. For the most part, individuals and groups engage in the peaceful expression of views via the Internet, including by email. Nevertheless, there are reports that the government monitors email, Facebook, and Internet chat rooms and that police tap certain individuals' telephones. The Constitution provides for freedom of speech and press, but the king may deny these rights at his discretion, and the government does at times restrict these rights, especially regarding political issues or the royal family. The law empowers the government to ban publications if they are deemed prejudicial or potentially prejudicial to the interests of defense, public safety, public order, public morality, or public health. Most journalists practice self censorship. The Constitution and law prohibit arbitrary interference with privacy, family, home, or correspondence except in the interest of defense, public safety, public order, public morality, public health, town and country planning, use of mineral resources, and development of land in the public benefit." However, the government does not always respect these prohibitions and broadly construes exceptions to the law. In March 2012, The Times of Swaziland reported that a number of senators asked that the government take legal action against individuals who criticized King Swati III on social networking sites. Minister of Justice M. Gwagwa Gamedze backed the calls and said he would look for international laws that could be used to charge offenders topic see also swaziland mountain group